it's all for everybody, right? And I will show you what it is that we're going to do. So you guys can get closer if you want around the edges of that, um, or you can try and watch here, or you know, bring your Chromebook, whatever, um, to try and see it. Just because, well, I have to show all of you. So um, we are going to start off with a test tube. Okay, Got a test tube, and I'm going to put this stuff. This is a mixture of the two things that we're going to react uh, in there. And I'm going to put some in this test tube, right? So I'm going to gather some of this here. This mixture that we want to react, and we're going to put it in here. Okay. That's all pre made. We'll set that there, right? So now I have our reaction mixture in this test tube. I want to spread it out along the test tube so that I can uh, heat the whole thing gently. So I'm going to kind of roll this as I tilt it to kind of, you can see it's now, uh, maybe you can, um, it's kind of spread out in that test tube. Okay. I'm going to put that test tube on there, All right? So that's our apparatus. This is, we're going to heat this with a Bunsen burner. And then I have these empty tubes like we had uh, for filling with water, but we're not going to fill it with water. That's going to go on there. And so I'm going to heat it here and generate the ammonia and it's going to get gathered up over here. And I'll need to get two of those because there's two different things that I'm going to do with it. Okay. All right. So uh, for those of you that try it here, the, uh, the way you turn the gas on is with this, it's a, like a faucet knob, but that's the gas. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to heat this. Well, there's two things I want to do first. Right. One's easy, but I'm going to get my litmus ready first. So I have some red litmus paper. And blue litmus paper that I'm just getting ready here. Now, the first one that I'm going to do, I'm going to heat up and I'm going to do a flame test like I did with the other ones to see if the ammonia supports combustion, right? Now, as I heat this up, you'll probably see some water fogging up the test tube. Um, you might not because it's far away from you, but I can see it. Uh, and we're just going to heat it gently. For like 30 seconds, 40 seconds to generate some ammonia gas, hopefully over here in our bulb. Alright. Alright. So I'm gonna take that. I'm going to take this and we're going to see uh, does it support combustion? It does not look like it supports combustion because it all went out. Okay. I'm going to collect some more here. See if this has enough reaction left in it. Generating some more water in there, so it's it does. I hope. Okay. 
right? And we can't tell because we're not we're not displacing water, so we kind of have to just give it enough time to generate the gas. All right, now I'm done with this one. All right, now I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna stick it in this water over here and open it up. And as we got a bunch of water in it, okay? I want to test this with this pipette bulb, all right? I'm gonna get some water here from this. I'm gonna put some on the red and blue litmus paper, okay? So the blue litmus paper, you can see, stayed blue and the red litmus paper has now turned blue, okay? So that's that one. And then what happens when we put phenolphthalein in this water? All right. The phenolphthalein that's normally colorless turns pink, okay? All right, that's my waste bucket over there. All right, now I need to switch these two setups. So I'm going to move this and move this over. All right. Take this off of here so it's out of the way. All right. We need to do the same thing. I'm going to take our mixture. All right, I'm going to take our mixture and add it All right, and I'm going to do the same thing and kind of spread it out. All right, so it's kind of spread out. Uh, in that test tube, right? And that's going to go on here, okay? Now, for this one, I'm going to use some copper sulfate. All right, I'm going to put that in this test tube. I'm going to hold it with this test tube holder so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hold this in here so that, that the gas I generate here using the Bunsen burner will bubble through here and out here and into this solution. Okay. I actually want to lower this slightly. Okay. And I'm going to light this Bunsen burner and stick it under there, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to put the, get this ready and put this under here, and I'm going to start heating that. Okay, and you'll notice you start getting bubbles. All right, let me tip this up so maybe it can wear off a little bit. All right, so I'm bubbling some ammonia in here. Now, one of the issues we've had with this is that eventually the bubbling stops and, and the solution gets sucked back into the other test tube. Um, 
for reasons unknown at this point. But hopefully, we can uh, keep this well and continue to generate some. Right? So I see we're still having some trouble with that. All right? So now notice I'm getting a precipitate. Oh, there it goes. It sucks back in. It's not supposed to suck back in, but it is, right? And then it'll blow it back out here, right? All right, so what we see now, this is the dark blue solution. There we go. As it blows out in there, right? So we finally got our reaction going. And I'll set this off to the side. And we've got our nice blue solution there, okay? So that's the blue solution that your instructions will tell you about, okay?